Hey guys, System Mayor, and this is Skyopolis 4. Hope everyone is well, having a utterly amazing day. Let's go ahead and uh, jump right back into this pretty cool pack. And uh, in between episodes, have not done much. Not much at all. A little bit of uh, processing, a little bit of, uh, I guess, uh, crafting as well. Some stuff for, I guess that's going to be living rock and living wood automation. And then over here, I've been doing some of these crystals and different materials for Empower to get us up to the higher level uh energizing rods i want us want to get us to the nitro ones before we actually automate this thing so probably uh take a little bit more but anyway we're gonna go ahead and head over here and actually fix this setup uh over here for our casings and then after this we should never have to touch these again so um i asked for some people to give me suggestions on how to fix this in the last video and someone gave one which is actually really good and we're gonna do it so we're gonna go ahead and grab this here this is a depot we had one here previously we're now going to use five, and what we're going to do is use five of these and then use the logistical sorter to actually uh, tell each item where it's going to go, which depot it's going to go to, and then after that, it should be completely fine and everything should be great in the world. So all we're going to do is go ahead and grab the mechanical arm, kind of get them all set. So all these are seen as inputs now, right? Then we just need to set all the outputs again. Let's make sure they're actually all set. And then when we put it down, it should say five and 21, hopefully, <laughs> if we've actually done it right. But uh, we'll see here. There you go. That's good. Go ahead and put it down. Five inputs and 21 outputs. So that is exactly what we want to see. Then we're going to go ahead and grab the sorter. Uh, probably that and that. Also need all these items for filters. So let's go ahead and grab them. Sweet and sweet. And uh, let's get this done. Logistical sorter is such a good item. It's very powerful. But I never really use it because most of the time you can do you can do the same thing you can with it. If you have something that can kind of filter on the output, this pack just does not seem to have really anything to filter on the output. So it's been an issue, but either way, that's good there. Go ahead and throw the inner chest there. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab some of these uh, logistical transporter pipes is what they're called or something like that. Logistical transporters, I guess, is what they are. So let's do that, sweet. Go ahead and uh, set up a second line, then a third line, right? So we'll do something like this here, that's good. Then we go ahead and do this, and then probably this here. Now we're going to go ahead and break a couple of these connections because we don't need them. So we'll just kind of go in between them. Have to right click three times until it's like push, pull, and none. Because <laughs> these are unneeded connections. Maybe one more time right there. Good. Then we want to color code these pipes. These particular pipes can be color coded. Now you can't do this with all mechanism pipes, but these ones you definitely can. So you just shift and right click on the pipe. Then every time you do it, it kind of changes a different color, right? So we're going to go to sign on that one, then the next one on this one, then the next one on this one, whatever it is. Looks like purple. And there you go. They're all color-coded, right? So that is cool. Uh, this one here does not need to be an actual uh, logistical. So go ahead and change that. Then we're going to go ahead and set down the actual logistical sorter. You notice this little white line here? That's actually the output side, so you know which way it's facing. Uh, so this thing clicks a lot um, when it's kind of running. And I don't like that, so I went in here went to mechanism already muted the sorter so it's not going to make any sound but in here it's a you know kind of a scary interface but it's not really that big a deal we're just going to go to new filter go to item stack go ahead and grab that go to glass set that to blue there you go and there we go we already have one of the filter just like that we just need to do that uh, pretty much uh, four more times and this thing should be uh pretty much ready to go which is actually awesome go there uh we want to go with our steel now that one would be the cyan. Awesome. And I think the next one was red, right? <laughs> Go ahead and grab that. Go ahead and grab basic universal. There's a red. And then the last one was a purple. And then we're done, right? Just got to make sure I use the right colors, right? Let's go ahead and grab that. Sweet. Awesome. And uh, that should be effectively filtered now. That should actually work. And if I actually order something right now, so if I go to casing, right? Sweet. Let's pull two of these out. Go ahead and do this right here. Sweet. We should start seeing them come out here in a second. There you go. <laughs> They're doing their thing. They're going to the right depots. And uh, the arms should be doing stuff, right? So if this actually works, that's going to get picked up. And uh, it's going to be effectively done. There you go. So this way, it can't mess up. It literally can't mess up, which is uh, really nice. <laughs> that's awesome. That's cool. Go ahead and see if we got some casings in here. There you go. We've got the two in there. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and see if we can do, I guess, numerous recipes, right? So we go to casing now. Go ahead and say, let's do 12. There you go. Sweet. And there you go. This should uh, start going ham here in a second. As long as it gets through two recipes, I know it's working too, right? So that's good there. How much actually sits in here? Not too much, right? 
I don't think I'll ever be ordering a giant batch of this, of this either, so it doesn't matter that much. I could also speed this up some too, but anyway, that is actually pretty good for right now. And uh, yeah, it's just doing its thing, which is awesome, because this would drive me nuts. <laughs> On a good way to kind of keep this clean and doing what it needs to. I love this arm so much too. This arm is like just amazing, cool little thing, right? So it is uh, so cool to see it in action. I know I keep saying that, but at the same time, Crate is just so good. I've actually been thinking about doing maybe a series, maybe like a one, a, one a, once a week type series, right? Where I just do like vanilla and crate. You know what I mean? Just something like that. Seeing what kind of builds I can come up with. Maybe mud berms, maybe uh, big doors, you know what I mean? Rotating tunnels. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. It'd be just really fun to kind of fool around with. Maybe just like a, yeah, maybe a once a week thing or maybe once every two weeks. Just something I've been thinking about. But this seems like it's working really good. Just check it out, man. Just casings, just coming in, no problem at all whatsoever. And that's about the max speed we could do it too. Now, other people are saying too, you kind of, uh, I guess, send the items to the back of the crafters. But again, we don't have any filters on the output side. I guess we could do it uh, through the funnels, I guess, and send the items that way. It would probably be faster, but at the same time, I'm fine with this. The only time I'm really doing tons of these casings right now, I guess, is with the uh, rods, right? So you go to rods. They are just all over these builds, each tier takes one of these casings right so you have to go through and uh make some of the casings for everyone so i guess that's uh, a thing and it's done and it's cool and uh that's awesome so i think the next thing we're gonna get to is uh probably go ahead and uh, get into a little bit of batania we have to get to the point where we're actually producing some mana i guess uh move board right but before we do that i think we're gonna grab these builders here the shape guard this one here maybe this filter actually we definitely need that filter a chest Good ender chest, a couple levers here, and uh, maybe automate uh, living wood and living rock. Probably be a plan. So let's go ahead and uh, get to that. So, okay, let's go ahead and uh, get to our living rock automation, which will be uh, pretty cool here. I guess the first thing we need is some floral fertilizer. So let's go ahead and grab that. Go ahead and grab some dye. We need to get some petals so we can actually get our pure daisy, which we need to actually craft this stuff. So let's just go ahead, grab like two stacks of that. Then we also need some grass as well. So let's actually hunt down some grass here. Uh, maybe a little bit more of that. Not too much. Go ahead and grab like that much. Maybe that. There we go. We're good. And then I guess the only other thing we need is the apothecary and a sink, right? I think I have a couple botania flowers. Let's go ahead and grab them. We're going to have to get some more of them. Let's go ahead and do that there. Grab one. I'll need that white flower too, so we'll grab that. And uh, that is pretty much everything, right? Yeah. So let's go ahead and actually grab the apothecary. So we'll do that. Grab this, and there we go. We have the apothecary now. We'll also need a sink, so let's go ahead and grab a sink right there. And then I think I also need a bucket, and then we should be pretty much good to go to this uh, automation here. So that is actually pretty rad all around. So let's head over here. First thing we need to do is get us some more of the white flowers, and uh, the easy way to do that, especially with this amount of bone meal, is just to, not bone meal, but floral fertilizer, is just to uh, kind of use it on some grass, right? So. We'll just do it that way right now. Just gonna do that, then vein mine, then this a few times, and vein mine, then this a few times. You know what I mean? Just rinse and repeat. Here you go. Get a whole bunch of flowers really quick. Awesome. How many of the white ones did we get? Did we get enough? Yeah, we did. Go ahead and uh, drop these off here. There you go. Drop you off. All that off. All that off. I don't even need you right now. And, uh, we're actually pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and turn those all in the petals, and uh, I guess we're good to go, right? Oh, I got some flowers. <laughs> Yo, that's gone, that's gone, that's gone. And let's grab our petals here. There we go. So the next thing we need to do is go ahead and actually get ourselves a pure daisy. The pure daisy is what's going to actually make the living wood and the living rock. So I guess we need this, this, and a bucket. That looks good. We we'll also need a seed as well, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and head up here. Fill that with water. Uh, grab our petals. Grab ourselves some. Uh, what is it there? We need a seed. <laughs> Go ahead and at least grab, I guess, one of them. We only need one right now. So basically, all you do is throw them in. Three, four. You can see them on the three there. Once you have your four, you have a little check mark. It shows a seed. Throw that in. You got yourself a pure daisy. And that's actually all we need for that right now. So let's actually break that. Now we're going to go ahead and set up automation for this. So what this pure daisy does is basically automates the uh, creation of living rock and living wood. I think I've already said that. I'm repeating myself. But all you do is something basically like this. Put down the pure daisy. Then I guess we'll grab ourselves uh, one piece of oak for right now. So let's do that. And one stone, just so I can set a filter here in a bit. But we'll do that and that. 
get some cool little particle effects and uh, those will convert in time. So that's what we want. Now what we're gonna do is use builders from RF tools to automatically place this kind of ring around the flower. So you can kind of encompass the entire flower all around it with different materials, right? So we're gonna have it so it can either do, I guess the stone or the wood, it'll just place the blocks automatically is what we're going for. So we're gonna put the builder there, probably need a point. So let's go ahead and grab them. You know, one here, another two here, probably only need one right now, and that's good. And then we'll need some kind of inventory on here. I'll come and set a ender chest, I guess, later on. Uh, once we set the recipe, I just wanna get it working first, but we'll just put this right here. Uh, what we need to do though, is set up this here. This is a shape card. The shape card can place blocks, basically. If I beat this chest and set a shape, it'll place a block in that shape, right? So if I kind of right click on it, he opens this up and we can actually pick the numbers. So I'm gonna do a three by one by three, sweet. And that's the shape we actually want. Now we'll have to set an offset and it's either gonna be plus two or minus two based on the machine where it normally puts it. So I think it's gonna be two. So we'll put two right now. There you go. Put in there. If I actually go to show now, I set it completely wrong. <laughs> Let's go to minus two. So it'd be uh, pull that back out. Actually, we can hit the question mark, right? There you go. Let's try minus two. Try that instead. Now if I actually show it, it's completely going around the flower, which is what we want to see. Uh, we also got our living rock. So let's grab you and our living wood. There you go. You can also just right click on those and actually makes them go away. So I guess that's something. So that's good. Now if I go ahead now and grab something like stone, right? And just, uh, let's just put like a eight in there, right? I said eight, there you go. Awesome. Give this a redstone signal, something on the lock. So I want to make sure this is on repeat too, right? Do a single run and restart. No, right there. Keep running with a redstone signal and just do this. Uh, that should have placed. Oh, I didn't give it actual power yet. There you go. It'll just automatically place the blocks. So every time it gets new items in here, it'll just place them. So that side's done. Now what we have to do is, I guess, automate collection. So collection is gonna be done with another builder, this one on a filter. So we have this little filter module. We're gonna go ahead and uh, open it up to shift right click. So you can just left click on the living rock and on the living wood. And that should be the only blocks this thing can break. And then I think we need it on whitelist, right? So I think that's right. So we'll go ahead and take that, pop that in there. Go ahead and grab a shape card. And uh, this thing is gonna be pretty much the same thing. So three by one by three. And the offset, uh, I can't remember what it was on the other one because it'd be the opposite, right? So minus two. So this one should be three, right? So if I go here and go to three, sweet, that should work. <laughs> we'll see here in a second. Put that inside the machine. Go to show preview. Looks like it's right to me. So that looks good. And uh, that should be pretty much done. That is awesome. So I think this is finished, right? So let's go ahead and uh, give this one power. Go ahead and do this. Let's do that. Also, I put a space here. I didn't really mention that either, but I put the space here. These machines are a little quirky and they have like a little weird kind of safety area around them, but it seems to change all the time depending on what shape you're doing and what you're doing. You know what I mean? Sometimes it'll let you do this one corner. Sometimes it'll leave two blocks here where it can't farm. Sometimes it won't do this one. Sometimes it will. It's really janky. So I like to leave this little this space where there's nothing. That way it always seems to be able to actually mine what I want to. So that's why I did that. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and grab that. And I guess we just need item collection, right? So we just do something like this, something like that. And uh, I think this is good. So let's make sure it's on. Keep running with redstone signal. Go ahead and pop that there. Right click that. Looks like it works. So that is uh, effectively done, actually. That's actually pretty much finished. Let's actually go set some recipes here. So we head over here. And uh, I guess grab the recipes. We should be finished. So let's go to living rick, living rock. Go ahead and grab that one. That is totally the wrong recipe. Living rock right there. We want this one with the flower. Pull the flower out, pull that out. Let's actually just grab our sills, an actual stone. There's one of the recipes. The other one would be living wood, right? So let's go ahead and grab that one. Pull that one out. <laughs> we definitely don't want that recipe, but this is the recipe right here, right? That's the normal stuff. That looks good. Uh, that's awesome. And now we should be able to automatically craft this stuff, right? So let's go, let's pop down here, sweep. I'll go into this one right there. I need some ender chest too. So let's grab some ender chest, uh, probably two of them. Sweet, grab some color dye, doesn't even matter. I just need to set a new channel. You know what, just give me 64 of that. There you go, that looks good. Then we'll just do this, that, and then I don't think I have anything set to this yet. 
So we'll just go that, 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 that. And this should be our new channel. So this should work out for us. And if everything's set right, we should be able to just automatically craft the stuff now. Uh, I may grab some speed upgrades just so I can, uh, I guess, import the items a little quicker. Although it's so slow on the other side, I don't think it even matters. But, you know, for the sake of having speed, right? Here we go. And uh, let's head over here, I guess, and uh, see if this works. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I think we're good, right? So let's head into here. Go to, I guess, uh, Living Rock, right? And then we'd want to... Uh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. But anyway, let's go to 64. Awesome. And uh, see if this actually gets ordered. Oh, I didn't replace the chest yet. I'm so confused. <laughs> let's go ahead and do that. Do this here. There you go. The items are going in the chest. And uh, yeah, that'll convert. They'll get automatically picked up by the builder. And that'll satisfy the actual recipe. Now, I know this will take a little bit of time. But I mean, this is all I could do for right now. We could switch these to, I guess, uh, the petites. There's like a petite version, right? But I need a little bit of meta first. Then you can make little floating versions of these flowers. Then I could stack it up like four, five, six rings tall and have it do all that at the same time instead of just this one ring. But uh, for right now, this is more than enough. And, uh, that'll handle living rock and living wood. We are done on the automation, which is really awesome and uh, really cool. So the next thing we're going to get to here is a little bit of... Uh, Botania, but before we do that, we're going to go ahead and make another platform. So we're going to make one really quick. We're going to use a new machine now. We're going to use the Builder from Cyclic, just because it's super easy, super useful, and uh, really good at just building basic shapes. So I'm going to grab that, then we're going to grab some science blocks, because I always have those, so that is good. And then probably some of that uh, luminous glass. I really like that stuff, so we'll use that as the floor until I can get mana glass, which means I need mana. So anyway, that's good there. <laughs> go ahead and head up this way. I'll have to go ahead and make a big batch. Actually, I should probably do that right now of uh, glass. Let's go ahead and grab that. Go ahead and do this. There you go. Let's make another thousand of that just so it's kind of being made. There you go. Fine, I'm always running out of glass. But anyway, let's go up this way. We're just going to have a little floaty platform up here, I think, is the idea. And do this. This is the builder, right, from Cyclip. It's pretty cool. Uh, you can build shapes with it. It's all kinds, square, circle, solid, sphere, diagonal, a dome, cup, all that stuff. We're just going with circle. Actually, I thought it had to have an item in it, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Here you go. We've got circle. Uh, we're going to set it to 21 ish, maybe 23, somewhere around there. Doesn't really matter too much. I just want an uneven number so it makes sense with my base. There you go. And then I guess we'll put that in there. Preview it. There you go. You can kind of see the outline, what it's going to build. I don't need it too thick. We'll just go with one. And uh, we just need to give this power, right? So that's cool. Let's go ahead and uh, drop you in there. There you go. Grab ourselves a point. I'm going to have to fix my power system, too. I'm noticing I have to put everything on surge mode right now. I don't know what went wrong. <laughs> but uh, I have to put everything on surge mode. So something's priorities messed up. And uh, unless I put it on surge mode, I don't get my power from my system anymore. So it's been something I've had to do with all the points recently. Just make sure everything's on surge. But uh, there you go. That's good. Should be able to uh, get this going. Just turn the redstone to always on. Something like that. Go ahead and do it again. <laughs> Probably one more time. Then it'll be finished. That's good. We got our outer ring. So that's fantastic. Let's actually uh, turn it off. There you go. That's good. Then we just need to go ahead and make our floor. And uh, we can do that super easy with one. So yeah, super easy little machine there. Just to do basic shapes. Like I could use a RF Tools Builder and all that jazz. But either way, it's going to be... I think more work in the end than this one. This one is just so easy to set up for simple basic shapes. And then I can just wand in the rest, right? So that's the main reasoning for using that. And uh, we should have a wand in here, right? So let's grab you. That's cool. And there we go. Let's go ahead and uh, just wand across, man. <laughs> May have to make some more glass, but that's fine. That is why I'm already crafting up more. And then, yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, I guess the next part of it would be me doing this by myself, actually. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to have to go and make some more flowers because I believe we're going to have to make some endo flames. And uh, once we have those, we can kind of move on and actually do some automation with uh, some mana, right? So that is cool. So I went ahead and uh, made us a bunch of endo flames. So we have uh, 16 of them. So that is pretty cool. Also some chests here. These are just our chests that link up to our coal chests. So that's awesome. And uh, we're going to go ahead and, uh, I guess, do some automation up here, right? So let's go ahead and head up, get everything ready, and uh, kind of get it going. So... Uh, the endo flames are really easy. So there's just two browns, a light gray, and a mystical petal, then a seed, and a bucket of water. I think you need the water first, but 
yeah, anyway, that is a recipe. So I got uh, all of them done. So that's cool. Go ahead and drop that off. I trigger them on a redstone signal. So that's cool. And uh, yeah, I think everything else is pretty basic, right? Except for a little bit of the uh, redstone timers, which are going to be, uh, what are these called? Just actually just timers, right? <laughs> From uh, RF tools. I don't know why I said redstone timer, but anyway, that's cool. We're going to need uh, some mana pools. So let's actually go ahead and grab some of them. One, two, three, four. And yes, I did uh, fix my living wood recipe. I did totally derp it. I had <laughs> one living wood equals, uh, what was it there? One living wood equals a... Uh, uh, a stack of uh, of logs. So yeah, I tried to queue up a stack and tried to put it in my 4096 wood. I kind of knew something was wrong right away. So anyway, that is fixed there. So we're gonna have four of those. So that's a thing. Let's go ahead and uh, go like three out. Was that four? One, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and do that. There you go. Gonna have to replace that now. Let's go ahead and grab some uh, luminous. Hopefully, I might have used it all actually. Go ahead and go to Abium. Sweet, let's grab like one recipe and hopefully I don't do that anymore. That's cool. We need uh, some grass blocks here, such as that. Sweet, probably switch to uh, petite versions of the endo flames later on. I just uh, need some mana to be able to do that. I think we have to be able to make uh, pasture seeds. Then you can turn them to the little floating version of the flowers. Then I'll be able to have the glass underneath it. It's kind of the idea there. One, two, three, four. Now it's good. I'm just gonna do this little star pattern for all that it matters. It doesn't really matter how you do it to be honest. But uh, this is how I usually do it. You can also just put like a giant wall of them too. And just kind of feed them that way. I just like having them all split up, coming in at different angles. It makes it look cooler. Anyway, let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and grab some endoflames. So something like this here. Get them all down. Actually, we should put these down at the end, right? Yeah, I didn't even think of that. I think they link up automatically if we put them down after. So let's go ahead and grab our spreaders, right? This will be what actually moves the mana around uh these right here i actually have it pinned right there let's go ahead and make like four of those that's good then we'll do this here this here there you go go ahead and break that one sweet now if i put down the flowers i think they automatically bind to that spreader which is kind of what i want right so let's do that uh we need a wand to verify that right so let's actually grab a wand of the force actually let's go into here do wand of the force <laughs> two three that looks good grab ourselves a wand of the forest and then if I highlight the flowers, yeah, they have a little check mark beside the spreader icon showing what they're bound to as well. It lights up the actual spreader. So that's actually the better way of doing that. So let's do you sweet and then get you out of here. That's cool. You know, just a way to kind of automatically bind them because otherwise you have to do it manually. It's kind of a pain. So there you go. We have these kind of all linked up. We're going to take the spreader, shift right click on them, pick one pool and just aim it there. Right. So I'm going to aim them all to the same pool right now. We're gonna add a mana splitter later on to make it so we can kind of disperse our mana between all four pools and have a bigger buffer, right? But for right now, put all four right there. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab some droppers, I guess. Uh, let's do this right here. I think we can set an offset with this one. Well, these ones have a delay. I definitely don't want a delay. Let's do the offset of one, maybe, right there. And if I show it, yeah, I'll go right in the center. So that'll work. So let's do that. And uh, yeah, these cyclic ones have a bunch of settings, right? So you could like set an offset. I can make it, uh, you could do it like, what is it? 16 blocks away, be the block that it actually drops on, and actually targets it. So they are very precise, but uh, not what we need, right? We also don't want delays, because delays are actually going to mess up our timing on the burning of the pool. And that's how we're gonna kind of have everything kind of automated anyway, using timers, because it's the easiest way to do it. So anyway, let's go ahead, do that there. That looks good. And I guess we just need one more of these puppies and then we can kind of move on. Anyway, there you go. I remember I used to be so, I guess, uh, intimidated by magic mods. Then over time, I've just gotten so used to it. I just don't even care anymore. But anyway, I definitely used to be intimidated by magic mods as a whole. So anyway, I'm so chill with them now. They don't even bother me. But anyway, let's turn on that. Make sure we have some surge. Let's do that. Yeah, I guess once you realize they're all just tech mods, right? They're just tech mods where they just don't play as well with other mods, it seems like. It's really the only thing that is really different. I need to make sure that's on surge, right? Because my power is dirt. It's funny too, because I know there's a problem with my power in surge mode, but every time I add another one with surge mode, fixing it means I'm gonna have to change them later on. So I just may leave them this way for the pack, just totally on surge mode, because uh, otherwise it's gonna be a pain in the buck. I'm gonna have to change every point that I've been putting down recently to figure out what the problem is. But anyway, let's go ahead, do that there, make sure it's on surge. That's good. And I think we're good to go, right? 
So if I grab, say, a single coal, right? So let's grab, let's do this, let's do that. I want to make sure that I actually drop it in the right place, right? So we'll do that. We'll grab this one. Go ahead and just uh, pop that right there. That is totally wrong. That is not a chest. Let's go ahead and try that again. Sweet. Awesome. Yeah, if I grab one of those, right? And just put it in here. And then said, always on? Yes, it's going to drop it right in that center square, which is exactly what we want. Then the flower is going to burn it. So that's kind of how it's going to work in the end, right? But uh, well, let's put it on requires redstone. Make sure they're all on pull, right? So I want to actually be pulling all these. I guess the last thing we need is timers, though. We'll take a timer, put it right here. What? What is this? What do you mean, copper gets? I'm totally confused what just happened there. <laughs> why Why did copper ingots just start appearing? Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Thank you. I have no idea how I got some uh, copper ingots kind of trapped in there. But either way, let's put the timer down again. <laughs> Hope everything works. Now, we're going to want to set the delay on this to 200. That's really an important number. Um, every piece of coal burns for... Actually, we don't have to do that with this one. We can do this. Count four, right? Yeah, we could drop four at once. I totally forgot. We could do this with these. Yeah. What would be the timing, though? Uh, can I actually get it to four? Why is this... Uh, what is it here? Arrow keys. Oh, arrow keys. Can I just do it that way? Ah, there we go. Four. There we go. I think that'll make it so it drops four. Uh, every 200 ticks right now. We actually want this at 800 ticks, though. That's how long it takes the flowers to actually burn a coal. So every 800 ticks, it should drop a coal, and that should pretty much line up, except for this one delay is going to throw that off a tiny bit, but uh, really doesn't matter either way. And uh, that should work. That should work there. So I guess, uh, guess we'll see. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, try that again. There you go. Awesome. So that should work there. So every 800 ticks, it should drop four coal, at which point those uh, flowers should be ready to consume that, right? Just need to make sure everything's set here. That looks good. I need to see this one. Once this one fires, I guess I know we're right. Unless this one can't go anywhere. Let's see here. Uh, where is my actual one of the forest? Do that. Because if the spreader doesn't have anywhere to shoot mana to, it doesn't work either. <laughs> no, it should be able to make it there, no problem. But we're getting our first mana, which is cool. Can I see the timing on that? Yeah, it should go off pretty soon. Let's see here. I just wanted the time to get down to zero and see it drop four coal. There you go. I guess I'll have to watch that one through the next cycle. Yeah, there we go. Burnt them all. Are they all staying lit? That's really what I'm going for, right? So for the whole cycle, I want them lit. The second they go out, I want it to drop four more coal. So I'm trying to get the timing right. So by default, I guess uh, coal's, what, 1,600 ticks for burn time in a furnace, I believe. But um, yeah, Botania cuts that in half, right? So it should be 800. And uh, yeah, it should be good just like this. I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm totally open. Go. Yeah, it's gonna send the second batch here. I just want to see if this is going out. Yeah, no, maybe not. It's close. You gonna you gonna do your thing? No, that works. That works. Yeah, no, no, that totally worked. That's fine. The timing's set on those perfectly. And then I guess the only other thing I want to do is go ahead and actually grab a couple iron, right? Let's go over here. Go ahead and throw these in here. Sweet. And now we should be able to finally make our splitter, right? So the mana splitter. This is going to make it so we have like a bigger buffer of uh, mana, right? And it'll, we'll aim it here instead. You can see here it's actually spreading it between the different ones. But you can actually aim it straight at the splitters and it does it even better, right? So just do this to there. There you go. And this to here. There you go. And just get them all kind of aimed in their different spots. There you go. And you should try to balance out the, pool, uh, the pools at this point, which is uh, pretty awesome. So... We have the start of Batania. We have uh, automated mana, and uh, we should be pretty good because we have an immense amount of coal. Was it 170,000? And it just seems to keep going up. It doesn't matter how much I try to burn. So, yeah, it's doing a thing, man. So I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, end this one here. So as always, guys, like this video, please hit that like button. I really liked it. Hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. Well, you guys, I'll have a good one. I'll see you guys next video. Later.